Throughout the day this Tuesday, September 5, 2017, Category 5 Hurricane Irma has increased in power again and again, and is of 2 p.m. ET, contains sustained winds of 185 miles per hour, tying with three others as the second most powerful Atlantic hurricane on record. The immediate threat is to the islands, and it will be a massive one to the British Virgin Islands, Anguilla and Antigua in Barbuda. We have details in our story. Believe it or not, there's not much of a precedent for a storm this strong on the Caribbean islands. Only one Category 5 David, 1979, much further away into the south of Puerto Rico, and only eight Category 4 hurricanes have passed through this area since 1950. This is the most impressive hurricane I've ever seen on the Caribbean radar. Beyond that models are still waffling, but Florida seems to be under enough of a threat that people across the state should be preparing now. Our story on the topic also warns those on the East Coast because the storm is expected to move up along Florida and into the Southeast. We also say in that story, this hurricane has the potential to be a major event for the East Coast. It also has the potential to significantly strain FEMA and other governmental resources occurring so quickly on the heels of Harvey. I would add to that the threat of a government shutdown later this month, which won't stop but will slow down government support for disaster areas. Irma's pressure doesn't rank in the top 10, however, standing at 926 MB as of 2 p.m., the strongest hurricane in the Atlantic as measured by pressure was Hurricane Wilma in 2005, at 882 MB, something I was lucky to blog about on AccuWeather.com. The views expressed are those of the author and not necessarily those of AccuWeather, Inc. or AccuWeather.com.